Okay, so let's set up around here. Let's get the archers up the hill there. And let's get these cavalry over there. Uh, with the infantry, yes. Okay, so he's going to try for some sort of flanking maneuver, no doubt. So I'm going to actually try as well. Although we only have a very small amount of cavalry, unfortunately. Our spearmen should actually be okay out the front there, I hope. No shields, of course. But they should be able to weather a few arrow hits. Come on. Let's hit someone, Bruce. I know you did very well in the last battle with your accuracy, but hopefully you can do just as well in this particular one. Come on. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. So, let's move our cavalry a little bit closer, because they are very far away. Okay, let's move our archers up here as well. They appear to be wanting to get the high ground, and I'm actually going to send my cavalry right in, should I? No, not just yet. Let's get our infantry over here. This is going to require a few tactics, that's why I'm taking my time a little bit more. And now, let's see there. Okay, I think we can move our cavalry behind them and probably charge in now. And our archers are fine here, we'll move them up a little bit more. I'm going to try and take out a few of their cavalry as we are having some issues with them trying to flank our archers. I'm actually going to try and stop them right here. Even if I take a lot of damage, it's fine. As long as they don't do a lot of damage to our archers, that's all I wanted to prevent. Oh yes. Hopefully our units are doing a pretty reasonable job at the same time. It seems so. Yes, it seems very nice actually. Yes, there we are. Okay, so... I didn't actually send my infantry in, I don't think. Now I did send them in. Okay, great. Well, I did forget to do one thing. Great. Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> we are winning. Yes, yes. Okay, we are going to get a second wave of enemies coming in from the right over here. Ooh, yes. Okay, I need to reposition my archers. Hopefully get a nice vantage point on this hill here. And our cavalry and obviously our infantry are still in charge mode. So hopefully they'll do a reasonable job. Go on. I'm trying to charge their gunners and their archers. Take out as many as I can. Yeah. Take them down. Okay, these are easy pickings, I think. They aren't very elite. Compared to our units, I hope. This guy, I think, is rather heavily armoured as well. Yes, there we are. Marksman. Yes, yes, they do have stronger armaments. And I'm getting stuck in the middle of them. That is not a good sign. Yeah, take him down. And I believe this is their final wave of units. And we are going to take them out. And this is the Great Lord. I am really surprised. I suppose tactics do win out, after all, although my tactics aren't exactly the most advanced. <laughs> of course. Okay. Come on, yeah. Veteran Ronin! Whoa! 244 experience for that guy? And I haven't even modified anything, so that is base experience. That is amazing. Okay, I like that a lot. Maybe I can find some more of those. I want Bruce to level up even faster. Yeah. Okay, so... I believe there are a few stragglers, and one of them may be fleeing as we speak. No, I think they are just musket men on the hill there, reloading for 20 seconds. <laughs> but thankfully, we have a lot of cavalry on the job, and we have taken them down. Oh yeah, so there we go. 7 renown and 17 morale, and we get to take him prisoner, the great lord himself. Oh yes, we're definitely going to do that. And now let's see, I do have space for prisoners. So let's take a few of these. Yes, I believe Ronin and Mounted are good. There we are, very nice. Okay. Oh yes, those boots, they were very, very expensive to actually sell. Look at that, 1300 Oh my. Okay, so... Now, we have a few units to level up. 
What I would really like to do as well is siege their large town right here. I would really love to do that. I'm actually going to see how many they have. Yes, that's not enough. You have to offer me a lot more than that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, Oda Clan is taking prisoners. Very nice. And oh my. Yes, there is actually a very large force here. Hmm. I would really love to take it. You know me. I'm very tempted by these things. Oh my. Yes, they are actually a rather large clan as well. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, well. Hmm. I think what I might do is save and actually try it out. Let's try and take it. Now, before we do, I'm going to wait here for a very short amount of time. Okay, he's having a feast, Great Lord Oda. That's fine. I'm not going to attend, unfortunately, but... We are going to attempt to siege this, and it is a ladder again. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. And a recruiter has brought 50 recruits to Kanazawa. There we are, that is pretty cool, I love that system. And now we will lead our soldiers, and I've just noticed that Matsukura Castle has been besieged by someone from the Kagaiki clan. Why can they not be eliminated from the game? Oh my. Okay, let's lead our soldiers. And then we will hopefully be in good shape to go to assist Matsukura Castle against the attackers. Okay, let's go guys. Come on. We can do this. They are nothing before us. Come on. Let's do it. Yes, we are cutting through them very easily. I could come up with a very obvious metaphor here, but I believe you all know probably what it's going to be. Something involving butter, of course. But it seems as though that is the case here. <laughs> yeah. Come on, take him down. There's too much writing on my screen. Oh my goodness. I can't see this guy. Okay, there we go. He is down. Oh no, I'm trying to block. No, I don't have a shield. I've got to remember that. Yes. Okay, let's slash him up. Oh yeah, that's what you get. Okay, so we've actually killed 78 of them already, which is very, very advantageous for us. And I'm hoping that we can actually get our archers in here soon. So they can do a bit of damage from afar. Oh yes, that reminds me, I do actually have a bow, so I may be able to get some headshots and perhaps some archery skill going on here. Yeah. Come on. Got to take out these musket men. They're way too effective at this range. I'm just going to continue firing into the crowd and hope that I kill a few people. Hope that I damage some. As they don't have shields, it's going to be pretty easy. And I think I am probably going to send in my archers now. Yes, archers charge and cavalry charge. I believe a cavalry is already in here though, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yes, come on, take him down. Oh my. Yeah, now this is the only castle design that I really wish had a flanking staircase so that I could actually use it and get behind them. That is the only design. I believe this design is also used in native so it is somewhat familiar to me although we are actually vanquishing them very easily look at this we are getting up the stairs very quickly oh my come on if we can get in there and out of the bottleneck we will have a huge advantage let's do it let me in there we are doing this with very minimal losses so far I'm hoping we can continue that trend if we can, I will be immensely proud of our forces. Oh no, we just lost one of the very, very heavy cavalry units. Ah, that's a shame. But look at what they're losing. A lot more than what we are, so that's very, very cool. Oh yes. Now, we've actually killed 250 enemy units. And we've only lost 21 in total. 
including wounded and dead. Come on, let me in there, come on. Asakura Elite Spearman, you gotta do it. Yes, yes. Come on, we can get through. We can get through. Yes, yes, come on. There's only a trickle coming through there. Only a trickle of enemy units. Yeah, here we go. Let's get some slashing on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. There we go. That was a very nice killing spree there. And now we will... No, don't push me off. <laughs> yeah, I was just foreseeing me completely falling off the edge there. Okay, so I am completely stuck in the middle of things. And as you can tell, I have no idea where I am. Oh, I am actually killing things. What's going on here? How do I do that? Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep slashing and hope that we actually do something useful. New enemies have arrived. I believe the enemies are somewhat stuck at the back there, thankfully. Otherwise, we would have had a very tough time, I believe. And we are actually getting a few kills here, so I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, we're pushing ahead. Oh yes. Come on. Let's push into them, guys. Come on. They are nothing before you. You are the most powerful army in Japan. Come on, let's do it. Well, perhaps, obviously, Great Lord Oda's army. He has over 200 units. But still. We have Kaguya. We have Mei Ling. We have Tojiko. We have Gonosuke. They are all fantastic warriors. And I left out George on purpose because he doesn't accompany me with the bodyguard mod. <laughs> yes. No, no. But George does his part, yes. Okay, so we have actually captured one of the larger towns. Wow, I am actually very surprised at that. So there we are, 15 renown, 17 morale, and the vassal escaped again. I believe he is actually the one that escaped once before. But now, we will be taking as many as we can. There we go. Oh, yes, peasant women. Yes, they can become elite onabushis. Yes, I love those guys. Okay, so here we go. We're getting some very nice loot, if I do say so myself. And we're going to requ request that it be awarded to us. And now we're going to go to the marketplace and sell a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. Okay, so this horse is actually very nice, so we're going to keep it. I'm going to sell a few others that aren't exactly the greatest. There we are. Okay, that's made a bit of space, and now we can sell all this. Yes, just taking a look at the stats, just in case. And let's actually buy a bit more food. Okay, sell these, sell these. Okay, that is great. Good. Now, recruit volunteers. Do I want to? Not particularly. I have a pretty good army as it is. Mei Ling actually leveled up. Very nice. She was wounded in that last battle. Okay, so, leveling Mei Ling. Let's take a look. Now. Ah, uh, yes, I was leveling her up in power throw, wasn't I? So, let's go for another in intellect, or should I? No, wait. Let's go for strength, because she has tons in power strike, and... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure, actually. She just has such great stats that it's very difficult to actually skill her up in anything. Yeah, I think power throw again is going to be fine. Let's go for some more throwing skill, and there we go. I believe that is it. Okay, so, there we are. We have actually taken <laughs> a rather considerable amount. As you can see, we've taken Toyama Castle, Matsukura, who is actually under siege, I've just remembered, and Kasugoyama as well. So, we are going to head to Matsukura and hopefully defend it. Now, oh my. 
This is a rather large army yet again. So we may have some issues considering most of my units are wounded. Hmm. How many precisely? 104 out of 116. Wait here for some time. Ah, oh, no! Kasugoyama has been besieged by another from the Kagaiki clan. Okay, we are going to take care of this guy, and then we're going to rush to the other one. And hopefully defend it successfully. So, four of my units had enough time to restore their HP, enough to battle standards. Hopefully we will be victorious in these two upcoming skirmishes. Come on, we must. Okay, here they are, here they are, now. No, no, cavalry, come back. I want my archers to stand on the very highest peak, yes. And then we'll be perfectly fine. Come on, yeah, yeah. Get some archery skill going here. Okay, now, I am not exactly using tactics, which is somewhat disconcerting, but... We are getting a lot of kills, I've got to say, already, due to our amazing archers. Oh yes, and Mei Ling, of course. Yeah, come on, take them down, they are all in a kill box, let's do it. No. Yes, there we go. Okay, here come their reinforcements. Hopefully our archers are still up there. Yes, they are. Not too bad. They are all protected as well. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to move them down a little bit more so they support our infantry and cavalry when they go in and engage the next force. Here we go. Yeah, look at all those arrows. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, took out that elite Naganata monk. Very nice. And here come some more reinforcements. Whoa. Okay. He does have a rather large force. Come on. We have to assist this cavalry. He's getting beat on like nothing else. Oh no, he got taken out. Elite Naganata monk took him down. Oh. Damn. Come on, yeah. Okay, I believe that is it. Hopefully we can take him prisoner. So, the Kagaiki vassals will be no more. I'm actually wondering whether Kagaiki has another fief in the world somewhere, and I haven't actually noticed it, because they appear to be coming out of nowhere. Oh, and I actually freed... A lord of some sort. I'm not entirely sure who this is. Oh. You gain honor? Oh, I see. Takata clan, I believe. Okay. Well, <laughs> there we go. We freed a lord. Done our good deed for the year. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's see here. I want to take these guys. Oh, I don't have much space. This is unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it, apparently. Oh, well. Yeah, take that, and then... There we go. Oh, we have actually advanced to level 21. Oh, yeah, I love this. Okay, so... Let us see now. I believe what would be good is to continue pumping intellect. And then get another in pathfinding and another in power strike. I've just realized I have nothing in athletics, so I am absolutely slow as anything. Oh my. Okay, well, let's do one more in intelligence, and then we'll go for pathfinding. And power strike. Yeah. I think that's going to be good. I will start to level up strength as well as agility a little bit later on as well, so we can get a bit more weapon master. Now, Kasugoyama was under siege by these guys 35 and 55 hmm okay let's level these guys up Onabushi, our first one, very nice okay so I think what I actually might do is 
end this session off here, and there's a very good reason for that, because I think what I might actually end up doing is waiting for some time and running between our various strongholds that we have actually captured, just preventing vassals from sieging them, and that is kind of going to get a little repetitive for you, the viewer, so I would rather you missed out on that and obviously not get completely bored so I will end the session off here and next time on Gecko Kujo we should hopefully own every single one of these strongholds and potentially have them all garrisoned with the constable recruiting a few villagers for us and that would be very very nice now the only other thing that I hope I can do is find the last Kage... Oh, here we go. There is the last Kage Iki Thief. Okay, so yes, that is also what we will do next time on Gekakujo. We will take this and rid the world of the Kage Iki clan once and for all, I hope, because they are constantly trying to siege my particular fiefs, and that is rather irritating, to say the least. So... I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.